the longest serving African American congressman in history says he is retiring. U.S. Representative John Conyers announcing he's stepping down effective today. Conyers making that announcement while denying the sexual harassment allegations from several former staffers. He is endorsing his son to take his place. All of this touching off what will likely be a wild special election for his seat. Jim Kirster is following that part of our coverage, but we begin tonight with 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell live outside the congressman's home. Kim, what do the congressman have to say today about this important decision? Well, again, he denies that he is guilty of any sexual misconduct, but he acknowledges that the allegations could be a distraction. His attorney says his health is also a factor in the decision. He is not at his house right now. Instead, he is in the hospital with what is described as an illness possibly brought on by stress. John Conyers was elected to the House in 1964 when Lyndon Johnson was president. He co-founded the Congressional Black Caucus, which helped give African-American lawmakers a louder voice in the fight for civil rights. Today, the 88-year-old made an announcement on the radio, speaking on the Mildred Gaddis show. I am retiring today. He said the allegations of sexual misconduct that he is facing from several women, including former staffers, are not true and played a limited role in his decision. My legacy can't be compromised or diminished in any way uh, by what we're going through now. This too shall pass. And these allegations, we refuted every single one of them. So that was not a big discussion other than whether or not they began to at some point become a distraction. We want to see some of you white feminists lying up in the streets of urban America because what John Conyers represented for us was a political Kevlar shield against racist hate mongers carrying badges and guns. A group of the congressman's supporters gathered today minutes after the announcement was made. They say this is really about politics and race. They say it is hypocritical for fellow lawmakers to pressure Representative Conyers to leave based on allegations. Right now, members of Congress don't have to disclose lawsuit settlements with staff due to allegations of racial or sexual discrimination. If Congressman Conyers is made to feel that he has to go, then the rest of the congressional de delegation that has settled these kinds of lawsuits, they need to go also. Representative Conyers was asked if he agrees. My answer to that is a strong, unequivocal yes. An attorney for one of Representative Conyers' accusers is also calling for Congress to act. Attorney Lisa Bloom is calling for a hearing so that the accusers can share their stories and be heard. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.